it's you! You're interested in the supernatural, right? <laughs> Lucky for you, I just finished editing my stream. It's all the proof you need. But before you watch it, I gotta ask you a question. Do you believe in ghosts? you're in for a surprise this video is gonna prove that the Sienjo is full of supernatural phenomena enough chit chat look this is the weird stuff that happened yesterday when I was streaming in Fixtral Garden what's up guys little gray here we've come to the scariest most haunted place in the Lofu Fixtral Garden don't forget to like Follow and share, or else I'm gonna check it out. They say there's been paranormal activity. You're such a scaredy cat. You thought you protect me. How do I stop the pain in the body? I think I just saw something go wrong. <laughs> Me and my bestie got kicked out of the garden straight after. But did you see the key moment? Uh, it's called editing. I edited it. That way I can show what happened before and after. Anyway, the key moment was... It wasn't the Realm Keeping Commission or the Cloud Knights that came to deal with it. It was the judges from the Ten Lords Commission. Sienjo for this long and you've never heard of the Ten Lords Commission? They're the most mysterious organization on the Sienjo. Their investigators always pop up out of nowhere, then disappear without a trace. If they show up, you know something serious is going down. In other words, something big must have happened in Fixtral Garden for them to show up. Exactly! Now, do you believe that my content isn't clickbait? Actually, do you have some free time? Do you want to explore Fixtral Garden together? Just the two of us? I guarantee you we're gonna reveal the truth this time. <laughs> I knew it. This is what people like us live for. Let's go. so dark in here. It feels like we're being watched. Did anyone ever tell you the scary stories about Fixtral Garden? Then allow me. As a streamer, I've done my fair share of research. Let me find my script. <clears throat> Wandering Fox Spirits and ghostly tales. Fixtral Garden was originally a garden dell constructed by a Foxian craftmaster. It was a place for their kin to rest, write poems, and feast, etc., etc. It said the elite pilots of the Foxians were almost wiped out in the denizens of abundance war 30 years ago. People went to the Foxum tomb in Fixtral Garden to grieve for the departed. Because of this, Fixtral Garden rarely saw visitors and was bereft of joy. Over time, Fixtral Garden became full of flickering ghostly flames, and weeping lamentations echoed through the air. The rumor that the garden was haunted spread like wildfire among Sienjo Lofu residents. I paid Mr. Sien to write it up for me. Sounded a little too professional, huh? I know it's easy to cast doubt, but the Ten Lords Commission actually showed up this time. Speaking of which, we have to avoid running into the judges. 
If we get kicked out, it'll all be for nothing. Anyway, that's the background. Let's keep moving and watch your step. Pure evil. <laughs> Time to get some footage. The moon shines on the truth. Hey, hey, it looks like there's someone up ahead. Let's go around. Halt! Whoa, whoa, what's up, guy? Hear me out. State your name and your business. Arrest them immediately. The suspicious individuals in a restricted area are detained first and interrogated later. No exception. Restricted area? When were you in charge of Fixed Girl Garden? You don't look so good. My turn. At ease, Wraith Warden. These two are not your enemies. Look how pale she is. And it seems like her eyes aren't even focusing. <gasps> is she a ghost? As a member of the Ten Lords Commission, you may as well consider me a member of the dead. I am a judge, alias Hanya, responsible for the four duties of detention, incarceration, interrogation, and punishment. Therefore, I know a thing or two about you. Gwenaifen, an outworlder unemployed. You entered Fixtral Garden with Su Sheng, a cloud knight, the day before yesterday. Uh, unemployed? I'm a street performer and a streamer who reports on current events. A streamer. That's a legit operation. As for this one here... You are a passenger on the Astral Express and a guest of the Seat of Divine Foresight. You assisted the Cloud Knights in resolving the Ambrosial Arbor Calamity and are a friend of the Alliance. She's the Nameless? From the train? Tell me, Gwenaifun, why did you return here? No reason. I haven't posted anything for ages, so I wanted to film some ghosts for my videos. <laughs> we have already told you there are no ghosts on the Xianzhou. It is a ridiculous superstition. As a resident of the Xianzhou, you should refrain from believing or spreading rumors. But I saw them! They had ghostly flames coming out of their bodies, and they were cackling. A and Sushan saw them too. Miss Gwenaifen, it's hard to explain, but those things aren't ghosts. Please don't bring legends from your homeworld onto the Xianzhou. The roaming entities you saw are extremely dangerous energy parasites. We call them Heliobi. I... Really? I don't believe it. Heliobi? What's that? <gasps> oh, I get it. Heliobi is just another word for ghost on the Sienjo, right? That's gotta be it. Uh, maybe we should let Mr. Tail out for a bit. Uh, Mr. Tail. I hurt you, I hurt you. Unbelievable. What am I, her pet? Mr. Tail? I'm a helium bucket. We're not ghosts. Got it? Now scram! film ghosts, yet terrified when she lays eyes on one. Deep breath, little 
See them off? Yes, ma'am. Sister, don't be angry. Most of your time is spent in the field. You're not accustomed to dealing with others. Leave this to me. If I explain the reasoning, they will leave. As things stand, the situation in Fixtral Garden is sure to keep drawing attention. If we forcibly dismiss these two today, their curiosity will remain. Who knows what might happen if they decide to come back. They might not be lucky enough to run into us next time. As I said, sister, I will handle this. I assume the two of you heard about the damage done to the Artisan Ship Commission's creation furnace? The Heliobi sealed within escaped, and have been haunting this place. The Ten Lois Commission has orders to capture them. I am strongly advising you to leave, for your own safety. If you have any questions, raise them now. I will do my best to satisfy your curiosity. But I hope you will keep any information you hear in strict confidence, and then leave Fixtral Garden, never to return. That's... that's very reasonable, Your Honor. Thank you. I promise I'll leave after asking your questions. As a clerk at the Hall of Karma, my knowledge on these matters is somewhat limited, but I will try my best to satisfy your curiosity. Please proceed. According to the Divination Commission's classification, they are energy parasites from the cosmos itself. They are starfire essence that materialize in the form of strange fire. Metaphorically speaking, they are like moths to a flame, but that flame is the thoughts of sentient beings. Yes, they attach themselves to sentient beings, feeding off their host's experiences and emotions. A heliobus will slowly take root in its host's nervous system, using their deepest desires and weaknesses to create wild delusions. They manipulate their host like a chess piece. The host has no choice but to obey the Heliobus, so we refer to it as possession. By that point, the host is no longer who they once were, but a Heliobus both similar to and completely different from their past self. The host's body will soon be exhausted by the Heliobus, like burnt firewood. Dangerous? Oh, you don't know the half of it. The other Heliobi are nothing compared to me. Teo was subdued and sealed in my tail by Madame Hanya. He won't harm others. Regrettably, Heliobi are not flesh and blood, and so they are difficult to destroy. Before the restoration of the creation furnace, the Ten Lords Commission plans to set up an evil binding matrix in this abandoned garden to imprison these abominations. As you can see, the evil binding matrix has not yet been completed, and not all the escaped Heliobi have been recovered. This area is still very dangerous. I will ask Judge Huohua to escort you out of the garden. All the escaped Heliobi have been recovered. So that means the 
other supernatural stuff that's been happening on the law foo might be related? Your Honor, I have loads of info sources. Maybe I can help you. Unnecessary. Those not involved should leave now. Go. Um, excuse me. We should go. Fixtral Garden is full of abnormalities. Even the Ten Lords Commission cannot guarantee your safety. I suggest you leave immediately. This place is dangerous. You should leave at once. Ghosts? Helio by possession? That was a big info dump. My brain is still loading. Ugh. It all sounds more like an urban myth than a ghost story. Energy parasite sounds more cool than scary. Don't you think? Mm, I never thought about it like that. Nice take. My audience likes getting to the bottom of mysteries, secrets, and conspiracies. We streamers have to cater to that, you know? Uh, I've got loads more questions, but my curiosity is satisfied for now. We better leave before the judges decide to arrest us. I'm gonna see if I can get a video of Mr. Tail on the way back. I've already got the title. Demonic fire suddenly appears in Fixtral Garden. Innocent Foxy and girl possessed. What do you think? That gets so many views. Can you give me a hand? Mm, true. But I'd probably only do a few decades. Let's go. Excuse me, can we go now? Yes, he's trapped in my tail, so... <sighs> trapped? For now? Sooner or later I'll find a way to make you break the shield! This way, it's quicker. Miss Quahua, can we have Mr. Tail come out for a photo? Miss Quainerthen, I'm on official duty right now. It's so quiet. It's getting scarier and scarier. Please stay close to me. Did you hear that? What was that sound? It's a ghost! Ah! What's happening? Oh, I heard Miss Gwynethan yell, so I got scared. Wait a minute. Where did Miss Gwynethan go? Uh, Miss Gwynethan! Gwynaithen, where are you? Quahua, stay close. Quahua? Oh, no. Where did she go? Is this a mirror? It looks a little creepy. Where am I? Is this... Fixtral Garden? But it looks 
different somehow. I should keep moving. Wasn't I just here a moment ago? I need to look closely around this place again. Maybe I can break out of the cycle. What's going on? I looked back again? I need to look closely around this place again. Maybe I can break out of the cycle. Noticed it, no? All roads are but puzzles in this place. Come, lost one. Do you desire to leave? Then <laughs> come and find me. Hmm. You have a strange scent on you. You must be. I've heard the whispers of the leaves that fall in Fixtral Garden. The flames weep and profess to me that a powerful mortal approaches. They carry the scent of a great battle with none other than Ventilia. You. You are the one who drove Ventilia away. <sighs> what power! Your presence alone is delicious enough to make one tremble. Let me taste you, please. One bite, just one bite. I can't wait to savor you. These are no ordinary ingenia. <laughs> of course not. There we have lines dancing to my room. Let me see. The one who defeated Ventilia. I wonder what they taste like. <laughs> you fought well. You are fighting for your survival after all. I'll take that as my invitation to inhabit you for a while. Incredible. Such a relaxed specimen. A soft cake of a host. It's almost as if... As if this body doesn't even belong to you. What makes you so detached, young lady? And what is this at your core? Sun? <laughs> it burns! Never mind. I won't be staying for long. So let's get along while it lasts, shall we? You can call me Cirrus. I only want to leave this place. I have no desire to harm you. Allow me to explain what's happening. The Sienjo natives call it a ghost lock. You're walking in a circle, 
and no amount of walking will get you out of it. So, I'm going to help you break free of the circle that Furinox created, and you're going to help me obey the judges of the Ten Lords Commission. <laughs> it's a win-win. How does that sound? You must have figured out that I'm not the master of this place. It was created by another Heliobus named Fury Nox. Unfortunately, I'm the only one who can help you escape from here. <laughs> you mean the talismans left behind by little lost fox judge? Those won't help you. <laughs> now that I'm possessing you, I can make you see things that you couldn't see before. Good. I'm glad we understand each other. As a courtesy, I shall leave you intact for the time being. As soon as I get what I want, I'll be gone. Now, go and look at those talismans again. The paper dolls. You'll know where to go. <laughs> go. Find all those clues your judge friend left behind. Find the talismans. You can trust me. I want to leave this place, too. We are useful to each other. In any case, it doesn't matter if you don't trust me. Hey, use your eyes. I made the talismans float. Pay attention. There are so many paper dolls over there. Surely your judge friend left some clues for you. Won't you take a look? Do you understand? This story of the supernatural is in the illusory maze for a reason. It contains the clue to help us get out of here. Come back and read it again if you need to. The door will not open without the proper courtesy. Return from where you came, visitors. The courtesies have been performed. Enter, O oh honored guests. It seems like we're ready. Now we just have to get out. I'd help you. The way out is straight ahead. Just keep going. Stop. Do you remember our deal? You need to help me evade capture. Ugh. Is this what humans call sympathy? How acerbic. Yuck. Forget about the judge. Just get us both out of here. Probably eaten by the Gilio by already. Uh, how can that be? If that could happen to someone as alive. 
Hopefully it's Miss Gwen, I then. That means I'm in even more danger. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that the larynx is the easiest muscle to control in the human body? again. You're a judge of the Ten Lords Commission. Why are you always begging others for help? You know I'm not cut out to be a judge. I thought maybe if I worked long enough in the Ten Lords Commission, I'd get braver. But now, I know it's impossible. <laughs> Useless brat. Why was I sealed in with someone like you? You talked up all day long. Then let both of us get stuck in a trap! Who's the useless brat now? There's no point in following me. I'm leaving, and you're not coming with me. Goodbye. You're closer to that definition. The Ten Lords Commission needs to overhaul their hiring criteria. How did someone as useless as you ever become a judge? <laughs> hey, cut it out! I'm the only one around here who gets to tell this kid off. Me and those other judges. Got that? Wait. Hold on. I smell something familiar. Sears, it's you. Still a fan of your pathetic ventriloquist act, I see. <laughs> ah, this is funny. This is just too funny. I thought you'd already escaped the furnace's destiny of torture. Who would have thought that a piece of Ignamar the Great, the fragment with the most fight in it, would become a guard dog sealed inside a crybaby. Oh, forgive me. Did I say guard dog? No, 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 no. That won't do. You're just a guard dog's tail, right? Just a tail. A tail. A tail. Laugh while you can, coward. I'm gonna swallow you whole the second you leave that girl's body. <laughs> Terrifying! <laughs> the joke's on you. You couldn't leave that judge's body if you tried. You can't eat her, let alone escape from her. <laughs> Mr. Tail, you're pathetic. Darn it. Uh, think of something, you wimp. Oh, Miss Trailblazer. Talisman and stick it to your body. It'll temporarily suppress the healing buzz's influence. <laughs> girl. Hey, girl, say something nice to Wawa. Her crying is like a mosquito in my ear. Cirrus talks nothing but nonsense. <sighs> but even so, Wawa has a sensitive heart. You, go say something nice to the girl. <laughs> Keep dreaming. I have nothing nice to say to anyone. <sighs> Rome free? Is that what you call this? This is as far as I can get from her. You think I'd be here playing house with you numbskulls if I could fly away? Oh, what a feast! Human emotions are simply delicious. Your sorrowful tears are like bottles of potent wine. <laughs> I'm simply enjoying my freedom. Didn't you use a talisman already? I'm tame as a kitten. Now, don't forget about our deal. 
I will leave only once I've got what I wanted. Of course. Surely you don't think I've left you just because you can see me. <laughs> so naive. What are you? making us fight. <laughs> Someone as nice as you wouldn't say such mean things. Only a possession would make you act like that. Still, what the Heliobus said was true. I've always been shy and scared. My life's been a nightmare ever since Tail possessed me. When I was at school, people were always asking why my tail was on fire. Everywhere I went, people would notice. Oh, so it's all my fault. If you just let me devour you at the start, I could have spared you the trouble. <laughs> then I got into the Ten Lords Commission. Everyone there is weird, so I thought I found where I belonged. But the job, the job is too dangerous. I have to fight demons and ghosts and bad guys every day. I... I'm just not cut out for it. If I make it back alive, I'm handing in my resignation. Who thought making a heliophobe with a heliobus in her tail hunt heliobi was a good idea? <laughs> I'm sorry. I've been so useless. I... I'm glad it helped. You hear that? Stop crying. You're useful. And your paper dolls are useful, too. Oh, I've had enough of this. As soon as I swallow that coward, Cirrus, I'm gonna devour this little crybaby, too. What a pity that Mr. Tail is nothing like he used to be. If we still had our old power... We could forget about this maze and devour its creator, Fury Nox. Your old power? Well, Mr. Tail, seems she knows nothing about your past. Little Missy, do you know why the Heliobi are gathered in this abandoned garden instead of seizing human habitations? General of the Law Fu and the great Heliobus Ignamar. Now that the furnace is broken and the Heliobi have escaped, fragments like us, who once constituted Ignamar the Whole, have returned here with a desire to challenge the General again. The battle between the General and Ignamar was an earth shaking contest of devastating proportions. Ignamar underwent countless transformations, causing floods, fires, and thunderous landslides. They were locked in a standoff. An evenly matched fight. Evenly matched? Really? Of course. The Ten Lords Commission records say that Ignamar was soundly defeated by General Tung Xiao. <laughs> of course the human records would flatter their general. The great Ignamar absorbed the power of countless fellow Heliobi, but ultimately underestimated human deceit. They were narrowly defeated by the general. We Heliobi could never condense into physical form after that battle. We scattered into fragments and were sealed into the creation furnace. There's an exception to everything, Mr. Tail. I thought you'd escape to freedom. Who could have guessed you'd be sealed in this tiny Foxian girl? <laughs> Humiliating. They sealed my foot! My power was weak when I ran into this fox child. It was bad luck, nothing more.
When I was littler, I saw a ball of fire that looked like it was about to turn to embers. I felt sorry for it, so I picked it up and put it on my tail. And then... Mr. Tail tried to eat me! If the judges hadn't arrived, it would have been over! I did no such thing! You're barely big enough to be an appetizer! All the pain I've suffered since I met you must be retribution for my stupidity back then. <laughs> Hilarious! It's a pity Mr. Tail didn't devour you. He might have recovered his power and turned the Sienjo upside down, just like Ignamar did. Grudge? How shallow. If you must know the forces behind our actions... There's a pinch of envy. Envy towards the potent emotions you corporeal beings have. Then there's a dash of aggression. The desire to see whether the Heliobi or bodies of flesh and blood are stronger. Lastly, there's a drizzle of desire. We desire to possess your physical bodies, so we can eat, kill, Love and hate. <sighs> we Heliobi were carefree life forms, but were tainted with the illness of humanity once we came into contact with it. It's humanity's fault for having such intense emotions and desires. Now we can never, never return to the purity of our past. <sighs> I want to be free again. I want to return to the cosmos. Mr. Tail, you'd want to regroup with the fragments. You don't want to be her tail forever? Why don't you return with me to the great beyond? <laughs> don't get ahead of yourself, Shiras. That's impossible. Mr. Tail was sealed by the judges of the Ten Lords Commission. He can't escape, and neither can you. Screaming more thinking. This is an opportunity, is it not? Let's go in and check it out. Feel much safer with you here. Still feel like I'm gonna faint though. Maybe Arbiter protect us. Didn't I see a similar mirror when I was dragged in? That... tone... Guagua, this way. What's going on? There's a voice in the mirror? That voice sounds familiar. Guagua, are you in the mirror? I finally found you. Madam Shrey? Sixtral Garden has been enveloped by an unknown power. You must be careful. We still haven't found Miss Gwen, I then. I don't know where she went. The task at hand is to save you from this illusion. Come, pass through the mirror and come to our side. <sighs> Are we above Sixtral Garden? Hmm, so many bronze mirrors. 
Could it be that? Uh, you're right, girl. This place is changing. It's trying to stop us from escaping. But one of these mirrors must contain the exit, right? Let's check them all. This is the exit, you useless brat! Come here! Gah! Madame Shayi can be a bit of a meanie, but she'd never talk to me like that! That doesn't sound like her. Come to think of it, it kinda sounds like tail! Constructive criticism! Hm. Let's go look at the other mirror. Well, well, sweetie. Come to Big Sister Shuo Yi. Ugh, yuck! That judge would never say something so sickly. Let's go look at the next mirror. The situation in Victor Garden is getting worse. Why have you not left? Is something the matter in there? Over here. That sounds like the real Madame Shuo Yi. What? The real Madame Shuyi? Are there pretenders inside the illusion? I see. Do not be afraid. Kuo Hoab knows me well. She will be able to discern me from the counterfeits. <laughs> but what if I can't tell the difference? You must trust yourself. Come. Pass through the mirror and come to me. Wait, I want to ask a few questions to see if you're the real person. Who is Hanya? Uh, never mind. Forget I said anything. Likely through some secret means that I am unaware of. I, I didn't have any connections at all. So we're gonna hurry, Hoa. Pass through the mirror and come to me. Wait, I wanna ask a few. Hanya is my younger sister, but this alone cannot prove who I am. Ask me something else. By decree of the Ten Lords, Spirit Bearer Hoa is skilled and diligent, capable and worthy of official done. She is hereby promoted to the position of judge. I still remember the decree for her promotion. That's her! This has to be Madame Shaggy behind the mirror! So... we... but... Hurry, Hua Hua. Pass... Wait! I wanna... We are both judges of the Ten Lords Commission. Evidently, we are colleagues. The Heliobus that trapped us here wouldn't know that Madame Shrei and Madame Hanya are twin sisters. Uh, a powerful Heliobus possessed her tail. It is a power that I dream of having for myself. <laughs> Never knew you were so popular, Mr. Tail. <laughs> Very funny. So... Hurry, Hua. Wait. Uh, mirrors again! What a surprise! Look around us, Mr. Tail! I think we're at the edge of the illusion! Maybe these are the only mirrors left? Come here, Hoa. Come through the mirror. Uh, I need to ask you some questions about myself first. As a judge responsible for capturing criminals, her cowardice is a dereliction of duty. I will reprimand her severely once you leave the illusion. Huh? That doesn't sound like Madame Shui, right? Stupid girl! This is obviously a fake! Her tail will be extracted and suppressed after the job is over. <laughs> you fraud! I'll deal with you once I get out. So...
Come here, Koala. I need to ask you some... Precaution is a skill all judges of the Ten Lords Commission should possess. Ha! That's a funny way of describing cowardice. Nauseating. It's the most powerful fragment of Ignamar's demise. Who would have guessed it still contains so much power after so many years? Ha! You've given the game away. So... Hurry, Huafa. This should be the last mirror. I, I need to ask you some questions. She will be expelled after tonight's operation. She is not fit for her job at the Ten Lords Commission. Really? So I don't even need to write a resignation letter? Stupid girl! This is obviously a trick! An insignificant demon. I can't wait to devour him myself. Aha! Not even trying to hide your true colors. So... I'm not the best judge of things, but these mirrors... <sighs> not a single one is the real thing! None of them show Madame Shree as I know her to be. That puppet judge never respected me. But she also never let her guard down. I've spent a long time working with Madame Shreggy. She's always known that I'm scared and timid, but she never told me off. <sighs> the Ten Lords Commission never cared a wink about your frail constitution. You're the only one who makes a big deal about it. And as long as you don't drag me down, I don't really care how much of a coward you are either. Hey, hey, hey! Get away from me! See? People say good things about you. What are you gonna do about it? The illusion wants to keep us in, but it can't possibly keep expanding its borders forever. I think there's gotta be a fourth mirror somewhere. Huh? I think there's a mirror on that floating island! But it's a bit... <laughs> Quit stalling and get on with it! Ha! I didn't think you'd be able to. <laughs> All these years and you finally started to grow up a bit. Hurry, Huahua. This should be the last mirror. Uh, I don't want to go back the way we came, but I need to ask some questions about myself to make sure. Everyone is different. A judge is not a soldier, and they need more than just courage. It is the decree of the Ten Lords for Huahua to be elevated to a judge. So there must be some meaning in it. Just what do those old fogies see in this coward? <sighs> Let's go! This is the right mirror! Uh, are we back in Fixtral Garden? You have returned safely. It seems the Ten Lords Commission is not down on our luck today. Madam Shreggy, I'm so happy to see you're all right! Did you encounter anything strange on your way here? <laughs> no wonder she's a judge. Very perceptive. I understand. This isn't the time to deal with Cirrus. Fixtral Garden has been dragged into a powerful illusion by an even mightier Heliobus. And the spirit bearers who went to suppress it have lost contact with me. Huahua, if both Hanya and I are unable to suppress that demon, then you will have to defeat it. Huh? I won't be able to do it! I'm not as powerful as you two! I always run and hide before a battle. Do not underestimate yourself. A Heliobus cannot possess a body that is already possessed by another Heliobus. Such is your absolute advantage as a judge. Correct. However, Huahua has had many more years of training and is more experienced in fighting Heliobite. That is why the Ten Lords Commission is not down on our luck today. We're lucky that you have all returned at this opportune time. That scaredy cat, you're the ace of the Ten Lords Commission. 
The Heliobi are aggressive beings, but they cannot shake their desire for a flesh and blood body. And yet, during the 38 years you have worked for the Ten Lords, you have been constantly able to suppress the monster within your tail and maintain your personality. You are already a fitting judge. Be confident. On that point, none of the other judges can surpass you. Suppress the monster? Oh, but I don't think I've ever had to suppress tail. I guess we're more like friends? Friends? Ugh. I don't make friends with food. <laughs> Mr. Tail, puny fragments like us were deprived of Ignamar's power long ago. If a little girl can subdue us, then perhaps it's time for some humility. Shut your trap! Though Fury Nox is powerful, we have a chance of suppressing them if we can break them into multiple fragments. You have a sound plan, Your Honor. And since the stage is set, allow me to offer my assistance. Let's find somewhere more open first. Like Swallow Sun Pavilion over there. Let's go. You've heard the story of Ignamar and the great Heliobus's glorious fight against the general. They were an entity born of many Heliobi fusing together. But. Heliobi are gradually tainted by the emotions and desires of those we possess. We tend to spite each other and don't like to fuse together. It's like having multiple personalities inside a single head. It leads to infighting. A powerful Heliobus like Ignamar or Furinox might be able to swallow a lesser Heliobus and placate them for a while. But this internal balance is easily broken when exposed to external forces. Just like how we were torn apart and reborn after Ignamar fought the General. Therefore, this might be the way to defeat Furinox. We can cause them to break apart and reduce their power. Then, the Ten Lords Commission can use their sacred vessels to seal up all of Furinox's fragments. I have a question. Why are you betraying your own kin? Why would you help the Sien Zhou when we have sealed you for so long? Why? Must Heliobi always have a reason for their behavior? Perhaps I don't want Furinox to devour me. Perhaps I dislike idiots who use force and nothing else. Perhaps I wish to fight the General myself. Or maybe I just want to do a favor for the Ten Lords Commission that will ensure I can leave here in one piece. Judges of the Ten Lords Commission always keep our promises. If you can truly deal with the problem at hand, I will ask for your freedom from the Ten Lords. However, I cannot guarantee the outcome of the appeal. <sighs> How conventional. Fine, I accept. But you better keep your promise, puppet. <laughs> Me and Furinox were furnace mates. I know them well. They are powerful. But as naive as a child, and obsessed with victory, I only need to say three things to incite them. Hey, I'll need your body for a while longer. Before you duel the general, why don't you fight me? <laughs> Serious? What makes you worth my time, weakling? I've turned this garden into my territory and made the dogs of the Ten Lords my puppets. As soon as the general arrives, the Heliobi will have a rematch. Why should I fight my own at this crucial moment? 
that group of amateurs you've put together? <laughs> they are nothing compared to me. I have already obtained the most wonderful pawn for myself. A piece that once expelled Fantilia. Fantilia? Fantilia! I remember. What a wonderful host. I want it. Then send the spirit bearers under your control to find me. If you can defeat this nameless I'm possessing, then you can swallow me up and let my strength aid you when you fight against the general. What do you say? Deal. My pawns and I will show you no mercy. See? Easy peasy. Does that mean all the spirit fairs out there have fallen? What a useless army! Does that mean we'll be fighting our friends? <sighs> oh, do puppets feel empathy? Or do you not wish to defeat Furinox anymore? We Heliobite think of such matters as business transactions. As long as something can bring us victory, we will destroy everything. Even allies and kin. Make the decision. Fury Nox's pawns, your companions, must be destroyed. <sighs> Please come over here. I need to give you something. You two, take this before we fight Fury Nox. This is the Lunambra Gorge. Sacred vessel made by the Artisanship Commission. The Ten Lords Commission has made some changes to it to better suppress Heliobi. After you fight the puppets controlled by Furinox, make sure you seal their Heliobi fragments in here. Also, her time as a judge has been brief. She is still inexperienced. Apart from that, please also have mercy on the spirit bearers that have fallen under Furinox's control. Mr. Chael, we're gonna fight some really dangerous enemies now. Please lend me your strength, too! Oh, sounds like someone finally learned to talk tough. I would've believed you if your legs weren't shaking so much. Don't point that out! It took me a lot of effort to be this brave. All this time I've just been hiding behind Miss Trailblazer. I'm such a bad judge. Madam Shrei said those possessed by a Heliobus can't get possessed again. I'm the only person who can help everyone. Exactly! You're welcome, by the way. So, what are we waiting for? Let's go! Quahua, though I am of Ingenium body, I too am feeling a sliver of fear. Madam Shrei? You're afraid too? Faced with a demon that can manipulate life at will? Of course I'm afraid. Afraid that I won't ever work with my sister again. Uh, I guess if even you two are afraid, then I feel a little better now. Let's go. I will find my own way to defeat the pawns possessed by Fury Nox. And before that foolish Heliobus has realized what's happening, I will suppress all of their fragments within the Lunambra Gorge. So we'll need to activate the evil binding matrix, right? Once my task is done, I will meet you at the Verdant Terrace and activate the evil binding matrix at its matrix core. Okay. is so powerful why would they allow themselves to break apart so easily the stronger you are the more you underestimate your enemies sometimes being weak and humble is the way to survive of 
Furinox have been sealed in the gourd. Thank the Arbiter. Does that hurt? in the court now. Let's go and meet up with Madame Trahi. Spiritfarers controlled by Furinox. It was quite troublesome taking them down without doing any harm. How goes your task? We're doing well. We've sealed most of Furinox's fragments. Now we shall seal the fragments absorbed by the Lunambra Gourd into the evil binding matrix. Once Furinox's power has been stripped, it will no longer be able to influence reality in Thixtral Garden. Gord is so pretty! Is this what they call a sacred vessel on the Sienjo? Uh, Miss Gwynaifen, please be careful. You might feel dizzy if you get too close to the Matrix. It's okay, it's okay. This is my first time seeing the Ten Lords Commission's exercising tools up close. <laughs> get her away from her! Many obstacles and collect so many Heliobus fragments. I told you I'd leave your body, little pawn. Excellent. <laughs> I will keep my promise. Quite troublesome. Is everyone okay? They've consumed too many heliobi. We'd die from exhaustion before we managed to weaken it. We've still got a chance, puppet. Sira said it themselves. There's a fragile balance when heliobi fuse together. You know what to do, don't you, Huahua? <laughs> But what? Aren't you going to be living the life you've always wanted once I'm gone? <sighs> These pawns are no fun. Why don't you join in too, huh? My struggle be my subject! <laughs> Just hate. <laughs> 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 useless! Get yourself together! 
together. Try swallowing me too. Huh? Are you insane? Why are you helping humans? Why? You need a reason? How about this one? I'd rather help a human than a conniving simpleton like you. <laughs> I won't let Mr. Tail sacrifice himself in vain! Tell us this. I wonder how Hua Hua is doing. I should check up on her. Forgetting me? Ugh, your human tongues are no less poisonous than ours. Kid? As a spirit bearer, he's already experienced more than you could in a lifetime. For as long as I'm sealed in the Matrix, I will inhabit this body. The judges can stick as many talismans and pour as much enchanted water on this flesh as they'd like. I don't care. As long as they want to save their own, I still have a bargaining chip. There are many, little pawn. I will exist forever. I have lived for countless years. I existed before the Alliance was even an idea. And once the Alliance has turned to dust, I will continue to exist for countless more Amber Eras. I can wait. I'll wait for humans to let their guard down. I'll wait till the Matrix drawn over fictional garden collapses. Time and opportunity will always be on my side. We will meet again. I wasn't the only Heliobus to escape when the creation furnace was destroyed. There are more of us than the mere few in fictional garden. Hmm. And what will they do to the Lofu? I look forward to seeing how the Ten Lords Commission responds in the coming days. One possessing Hua Hua seems to have disappeared. I don't know if I should be happy or sad for her. Never mind. I have never been good at figuring out emotions. Thank you for your assistance, Nameless. Reinforcements from the Ten Lords Commission will be here soon, and Gwenaifen will be sent to an apothecary. It is only an artificial Ingenium body. I can swap into another one easily. Do not worry. 
Anya returned to the Ten Lord Commission after you left. She's coming with the reinforcements as we speak. No, the demon lives on. Even possessed a young spirit bear under my command. As starfire essences, the Heliobi will never die. The records in the Ten Lords Commission's evil binding tomes were all real. Cirrus lost most of their power and poses no danger for the time being. But they will remain a threat for as long as they exist. Thankfully, the Ten Lords Commission had prepared other sacred vessels to suppress the Heliobi. We will construct a matrix all over this abandoned garden and seal the Heliobi within. The San Joe will live to see another day. We can leave the rest to the Ten Lords Commission from here. Even I feel like I need a rest. Tail? Mr. Tail? Tail distracted, Cirrus. He helped us so much. But now he's gone! I can't sense him anywhere. He's It was because of him that I ended up in this terrible job. And I thought so much about how much better my life would be if I never met him. But now that he's actually gone, I feel so empty inside. I really am useless. I've been looking forward to this day for so long. And now that it's here, I... I don't feel happy at all! Wait... You're right. Madame Shrei said that Heliobi are eternal flames that will never burn away. Mr. Tail... He... He must still be out there somewhere! <laughs> don't worry, Miss Trailblazer. I'm okay. I need to pull myself together and finish the job! Oh, the Ten Lords Commission contacted Miss Gwenyphon's friend, Miss Sushong. I can't leave my post, so, uh, could you let Miss Sushong know what happened? She'll be relieved. The little Gwei kinda gave me an outline of what happened in the Apothecary. Can you tell me more? Thanks for telling me everything. I didn't think things would get so out of hand. I would have been able to help you if I were there too. Maybe little Gwei wouldn't have ended up in the apothecary. <sighs> oh, you don't need to worry about little Gwei. She won't be able to sit still even in a sick ward. I'm sure she'll come find you again in no time. I'm heading to the apothecary to check up on her. Catch you later.